So now say I want to see um, the number of suspected COVID cases in a timeline in last 12 months on a map. So how do I do that? I'll go to map application. I'll add a layer from the top left corner of the screen. I'll click on add layer. I'll choose the thematic layer. Then under data, I'll select my program indicator. And uh, the program I'll select is case based surveillance. And I want to see the suspected cases. And I have an indicator for suspected cases, which I'll select. Then I'll go to period. I want to see the um, cases, suspected cases in last 12 months. So last 12 months is selected. I want to see the uh, cases in a timeline. So I'll choose timeline and under display period. Organization units, I want to see at level two. So yeah, level two is selected. Under style, I'll go, I'll select a bubble map here. And I want to see the labels, so I'll check on the labels and I'll click on add layer. It just takes a few seconds to load. So now you see uh, a start option at the bottom of the screen with different uh, break for all the months, last 12 months. So I can click on this start option and you will see that it shows me, it moves from one month to the other and it shows the number of cases in different provinces in Lao. So this is how you create a map with a timeline display type. Uh, and the next exercise is based on this. Uh, you can move to the exercise two in your uh, learner's guide.
Um, so after you all complete this exercise, uh, we are going to take a, a 15 minutes break uh, and then you can come back for the next session of the day. Uh, this is to inform you that we also have a graded assignment for this session, uh, which you can do once you finish your exercise or you can do later once we finish um, for the day today.